When a user is added to the Academic Alliance subscription, a link is generated so that they can go to the ELMS front end and log in and download some software. Let's examine how a user would go in and access that software. I've gone to the ELMS front end for my subscription and I'm going to log in as a user that I've added. Once I've logged in, it's going to list all of the software that I've already downloaded. So you can see I've downloaded Vista Business and Visual Studio. And let's go ahead and look at how we order new software. I'm going to click here to order new software. And if I had not previously ordered any software, then I would actually just be taken straight to this page. I'm going to go ahead and search for expression blend it's going to take me to the home page for whatever product I've chosen so in this case I've chosen expression blend and there would be a picture here if this picture was available and everything I download is going to be for free so let's go ahead and choose add to cart It's going to pull up the Academic Alliance EULA. You want to read through the license agreement to make sure that you agree. And if you do, then select Agree below. Okay, now that I have this in my card, I'm going to go ahead and check out. And this is my customer information. One option that I have is to subscribe to the MSDN Student Flash Newsletter. This is a developer newsletter and contains lots of developer tidbits, uh, information. If you're getting started with products, um, there's, it contains a whole set of professional developer information as well as a section specifically for students. Click Next. In order to actually get the software, I need to go down to the download and click on download the item. Okay, here are some options. Here's the serial number for my product and I'd like to go ahead and download the software. So I click again on download. I'm going to click save. And me personally, I created this Academic Alliance folder and that's where I keep all of the downloaders that I'm currently installing. So I'm going to save. This will take just a minute to download. Now I'm going to actually run this application. So what happened is first you download the actual download application. And then that, when that application runs, it's actually going to download the bits and bytes for whatever product I've chosen. So in this case, I've chosen Expression Blend. So now I'm actually just running this installer and it's going to go ahead and download Expression Blend so I'm going to choose continue. And the download may take a little bit to get started and then of course it's going to actually download all the bits. I'll go ahead and download this information and bring you back in once I have the application locally. Just so you notice, there's actually a status bar down here at the very bottom of this window. That's keeping track of how much of the application has downloaded so far. Okay, now we've downloaded the bits and bytes uh, for Expression Blend. And you notice I still have uh, this software installation program running. If you didn't keep that running, you can always reopen it from wherever you saved it. So I'm going to click here on this Launch Install.
You can see what opens up is um, I've saved the download in this temp file under expression blend. So what I've actually downloaded is an ISO image. An ISO image is essentially an image that's actually what would come on a CD. So if you got a CD or a DVD, this is actually an image that's burned on top of that CD, on top of the physical media. In order to use an ISO image, you need to either burn this to a CD, in this case if you see here it says CD, or to a DVD. The other option you have is to actually mount the CD as though it were a drive on your computer. I assume that most people have gone through the process of burning a CD before, so let's look at what it would take to mount this ISO image. In the MSDN AA access guide, it explains how to mount ISO images and how to find software to enable you to mount ISO images. Let's examine using the Daemon Tools link in this guide. Here's the Daemon Tools website. So we're going to go ahead and click on Daemon Tools. And if you have a 32-bit system, then you'll click here on this Tools Lite x86. For me, this doesn't render extremely well in my browser, so I have to actually scroll over to the right to find some of these links. And in order to do the download, it's actually over here on the right-hand side, Download. I'm going to go ahead and run this application. I skipped the actual installation of Daemon Tools because it's fairly intuitive once you navigate the website. When Daemon Tools starts up, we'd like to mount the ISO image that we downloaded using the Mount and Drive Manager. I'll double click on Device 0 and navigate to this ISO image that I've downloaded. The application will then act as though I've inserted this as a CD into my system. So it attempts to play the autoplay functionality of this CD. In this case, autoplay would have done run blend install, so that's what I'm going to choose. This is going to pull up the HTML page associated uh, with Expression Blend. I'm not sure why I didn't actually get the images for this page, but we can see if we click on these that these options are Vista here on the left, or XP here on the right. So I'm going to choose Windows Vista, and then I'm going to choose Install Expression Blend. After choosing Install Expression Blend, it should pull up a window with a file download, and I'm actually going to go ahead and run this installer package. Installing may take a few minutes, so I will bring you back in once we've actually installed this application. When I've finished installing Expression Blend, this is the menu that I get, so I'll click Finish. Let's go ahead to the Windows Vista menu. And we'll navigate. You can see that I have installed something new under Microsoft Expression, and it's Microsoft Expression Blend. When I start Expression Blend, I now need to go in and enter my license key. I'm going to close this first menu. I'll navigate to the Help menu and select Enter Product Key. I'll choose I have a product key and want to and want to license Microsoft Expression Blend. Now I need to enter the product key from the Academic Alliance subscription. If you're anything like me, you didn't write down that huge number. So we need to go back to the website and locate the product key. Here's my MSDN AA front end. I again need to log in. 
When I log in, I can scroll down and see the products. I'm going to choose Download for Expression Blend. And here's the serial number that we saw before. This is going to be my product key. I'll highlight and copy that number. Let's return to Expression Blend and paste our product key and choose Continue. Finally, once I've licensed the product, I should get a message. Thanks for licensing this product. And we'll click OK.